What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about the greatest British brands. As an American, I am not familiar with British products or British companies and brands, so today I'm interested in learning about the top 10 most popular British brands and heck, maybe I've even heard of some of these at some point. I don't know. So with that being said, let's take a look. Dr. Martens. Hmm? These are more than just a footwear brand. I oh. think the punks pick up, picked up on the rebellious aspect. And Dr. Martens? Footwear brand? Like a shoe or something? I can't say I've ever heard of this. But uh, this also feels like something I personally just wouldn't know that much about, even if this was popular. Dr. Martin's interesting name. Attitude of the boot, if you will, to kind of say, actually, we're rebelling against everything. Since they hit the mainstream, they've been a symbol for nonconformists worldwide. Really? Like the leather jacket for our feet. <laughs> this, these are like more of like boots or big shoes. This is like an anti establishment sort of message <laughs> that you're wearing, apparently. Uh, a lot of meaning behind these shoes. I, I, I can't say I've ever heard of them. Uh, I wouldn't know if these are, are popular or not. But apparently these are very famous in, in Britain, I think. But they've not just been favoured by punk rockers, scooter riders and rebellious teenagers. They've also become the go-to reliable footwear for postmen and factory workers oh. thanks to their durability. Oh. Launching an accompanying clothing range in 2011, it was ranked in 2012 as the eighth fastest growing British company. Oh, what? This is, uh, this only started in 2011, not that long ago. For some reason, when I heard these the top 10 British brands of all time, I expected these to be, like, really long historical... Brands that were created a long time ago and are, like, really entrenched in British culture. And maybe th that's true of these, but these were only created, like, you know, not, not that long ago. But they must be really, really popular then. They become such classics. You know, the vampires are wearing them in Twilight. Huh. Rihanna's been wearing them. Huh. All the It Girls in London. Like, really? Almost, like, they've been... You know, they've really exploded in London. Okay, okay. This seems like a popular culture kind of thing. Like... Maybe some other Americans know about these who are a little more hip, a little more fashionable <laughs> than me. But first, I've never, I've never heard of the the Martins. Number nine, ASOS. ASOS. I'm, t I'm really trying to rack my brain. Again, this doesn't come to mind. If this is a commercial for ASOS, is is it like a fashion company, like sweaters or something? <laughs> What? What is this? If you're a 20-something who's into their fashion, then you'll no doubt be acquainted <laughs> with the online store ASOS. <laughs> that's, the, that's the problem here. I'm not into the fashion. Uh, and so far we have the Martins and the ASOS. Both are like fashion, British fashion brands. A shoe brand and a clothing brand, of course. So, <laughs> unfortunately... I don't know if uh, Americans in general don't know about these brands, or if it's just me, because I sure don't. <laughs> oh, no. A hub for over 850 different brands. If you can't quite find that jacket, bracelet, or pair of shoes you've been looking for on the high street, ASOS is your go-to. Okay. It's been around since the early noughties, but it wasn't until the brand went international in 2010 that mm. it really took off, with US, okay. Italian, and Spanish websites. And Okay. This stuff, since it's like e-commerce and sold globally, some of this stuff must be popular for, for some Americans. It's just, I feel like it's just me. <laughs> in Australia and New York. Okay. All right. They make cool uh, commercials. Number eight, Glenn Fiddick. In telling the story of the family who Glenn changed Fiddick. the world of whiskey forever. <laughs> Yes, the more commercially verbose American brands like Jack Daniels and Jim Beam may be ah. more recognizable, but for many... Oh, this is a whiskey. A British whiskey brand. This is cool. This is all very fascinating to me. Um, <laughs> some interesting uh, sectors, categories we're going into here. Now we're moving on to alcohol. 
when I think of British alcohol, I certainly, nothing really comes to mind for me. Um, like they said, Jack Daniels, stuff like that. Classic American whiskey brands. This is a British whiskey. This must be very well known, like in Britain, if this is like a, a popular British whiskey. Glenn Fiddick is the godfather of whiskey. Okay. Slange. The famous Scotch, which hails from Dufftown in Scotland, is the world's best-selling single malt whiskey and is sold in 180 countries. Really? This is the the world's number one best-selling whiskey. It comes from Scotland. Then, then there must be Americans who are like really, really into whiskey and stuff that must know about this. I feel like that might be a theme today. I'm like the average American. <laughs> That doesn't, like, specialize in anything. But if there's some Americans out there who are kind of obsessed with footwear or fashion or whiskey, maybe they've heard of some of this stuff. But I think I'm a good indicator of whether this the brand is, like, actually super famous, super well-known. If I know about the British brand, that means it's really, really popular. Because I don't know <laughs> a lot about a lot of this stuff. With a long list of accolades, including a successful stint at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition, wow, okay. the 15 year aged moonshine has become an affordable yet highly refined favorite. Great Scott. I'm, I'm surprised I haven't heard of this. If this is that famous and it's like the world's best selling uh, malt whiskey, I think they said. I'm actually surprised I haven't heard of this. Dick, family run since 1887. Huh. Number seven, Burberry. What have you got there, Burberry? Burberry. I made it. Britain is bursting with iconic fashion brands, including oh. the likes of Paul Smith and Ted Baker. But what, what, what is all this fashion? Are the British just the most fashionable people on the planet? What are all these fashion brands, man? Uh, this is Burberry. Okay. I don't... I don't know if I'm making this up, but that almost sounds like a word I've heard before somewhere along the line, Burberry. But I could just be imagining that because I want to seem cool, like <laughs> like I know some of this. Our vote goes to Burberry, a name established back in 1856. Originally okay. focused on outdoor clothing with its trench coats worn by soldiers in the First World War, it wow. eventually moved up market, and its distinctive, highly copied, checked pattern moved with it. Oh, so this, this brand is like older. I think they said back to the 1800s. With stores across the globe, from Europe to America and Asia to Africa, it really is one of the fashion heavyweights. Okay, so that doesn't shock me. There's stores, there's like Burberry stores somewhere in the United States, probably shopping malls and stuff. Uh, I can't say I've ever really noticed, but this name sounds vaguely familiar to me. I don't think I could have told you that it's a fashion brand or anything, but I may have heard the name. Number six, Rolls Royce. Ah, finally, <laughs> finally, thank you. Okay, now this, Rolls Royce is British. See, I didn't know that, that's cool. I'm just happy that this is finally a brand name I know of. Rolls-Royce is iconic car manufacturer, so popular in the United States, synonymous with like luxury and high-end, expensive, fancy Rolls-Royce. People even use that as a saying here in America, like, oh, your, your bottle is the Rolls Royce of bottles. Your tennis racket, oh, a Babolat tennis racket. That's the Rolls Royce of tennis rackets. It's like Rolls Royce has become a, a, a word that means the best in its class. So yes, this is very famous. I have heard of this, thank goodness. <laughs> when it doesn't exist. <laughs> Design it. Mm. Cars are another British specialism, from mud-plugging Land Rovers to gadget-heavy Aston Martins. But as far as universally acknowledged automotive luxury goes, yeah. Rolls-Royce is the one to beat. There's yeah, yeah. This is automotive luxury. I'm kind of shocked. I, I'm i not that into cars. I did not know Rolls-Royce was a British brand. I didn't know that. Something about Rolls-Royce and the experience of driving them 
which I just love. Known for its ridiculously mm. bespoke Bean handmade likes it, models, man. Rollers have long been the high-class car of choice amongst footballers and business moguls alike. Yeah. And it's not just Brits with money who buy them. In fact, the US is Rolls-Royce's biggest market. Really? China. <laughs> the US is actually the biggest market for Rolls-Royce. That makes sense to me. Um, Americans love fancy, expensive things that we can't afford, and we love, we love appearances and looking like we're the biggest and best and taking out a huge loan we can't afford to get a Rolls Royce. <laughs> uh, that makes sense to me because, again, every American has heard of Rolls Royce. They have. Number five, Royal Dutch Shell. Oh. What is this? A dual-listed oil and gas company, it was established in oh, 1907. When oh, oh, this is a gas, like petrol, gas company. Um, Shell. We don't call it, we do not call it Royal Dutch Shell. That's what confused me at first. We just call this Shell. And, yeah, this is pretty common in the United States, these gas stations, petrol stations. Shell Transport and Trading Company joined forces with the Royal Dutch Petroleum Company. Okay. Since then, it's gone on to become one of the top 10 largest corporations in the world, with multiple subsidiaries. Yeah, including... yeah, 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 this logo. Like, everyone knows this logo. That's where you pull over to fill up your gas in the car. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, okay, this is going much better. I actually know of some of these British brands, finally. <laughs> the US, which is its largest. Hailed as one of the big oil super majors, yeah. Shell has been fueling houses and cars for a century and has one of the most recognizable logos ever. We've yeah. developed new Shell V Power. Wherever... Yeah, I don't know what this V Power is or this Royal Dutch Shell, but we, we have this company here in America. Maybe like a slightly different version, maybe. Thanks, you. Go with Britain's number one performance fuel. Number four, Durex. <laughs> oh. Uh, I was not expecting this. Um, yeah. Yeah. This is, <laughs> this is popular in the United States. Durex. Um, there's two condom brands people know of in the United States. Uh, Trojan and Durex. Uh, <laughs> I think a lot of men know this brand quite well. Uh, this is definitely in America. And I had no idea this was a British company. That's not really something you think about when buying this kind of item. But okay, cool. Tell me how you use it. I'm constantly using it, definitely, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Although there are many popular condom brands, Durex is easily the most famous. Originally, my... I, I don't think it's the most famous uh, in America. Um, not to knock on Durex, but I think Trojan is the most popular in the United States. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just the, the marketing that I see more of, but uh, maybe this is like more popular in Britain. So there actually is a little difference here, but yes, I've, I've definitely heard of this. Most Americans know this brand. Uh, didn't know it was British, yeah. <laughs> Manufactured by SSL International, which is now owned by the health hygiene and home products company, Reckitt Benkisa, Durex's history dates back more than a century, and it made mm. massive product advances in the 90s. Ah. In a similar way to Hoover, Chapstick, or Sellotape and their respective markets, Durex is so popular, it's commonly used as an interchangeable name. For we, I, you know, I didn't... I, I was interested to see what categories of items we were going to see here today, what kind of brands... This is not what I was expecting. I gotta admit, I, I gotta be honest. Oh, Sexy. Okay. Number three, BBC. Oh, BBC. Uh, British Broadcasting Corporation. I have heard of them. I did know they were British. This is the first one in the entire video that I have heard of. And I know that it's British because it's in the literal name. Um, you know what? I'm not... I'm not convinced that all Americans know of the BBC. This is not a news company that really exists in the United States. I mean, it's the BBC. It's British. Um, so there's a lot of Americans who don't know about the BBC, actually. Um, I happen to know of its existence and that it's British. So interesting. Interesting that this is on the list. It's kind of an obvious one, but it belongs because it's it's also obviously extremely popular and prevalent. 
Three million more people now in work with the security that okay. a job gives for them and their families. A leading provider of news coverage, documentaries, films, charity events and radio stations. True. It's easy to forget. True, true, true. The BBC is more than news, isn't it? See, that's how much I know about it. Uh, it does television and documentaries and even like TV shows and, and stuff like that, right? Not just news that the British Broadcasting Corporation is in fact a brand itself, mm -hmm. becoming a highly respected name and, as a result, a stamp of almost unparalleled approval in the British media. The BBC right. is the world's largest national broadcasting organisation. Wow, wow, this... The BBC is the world's largest broadcasting corporation. That I did not know. Do you use? Yes. Do you? For how long? And I've used since I was 12. And thanks oh. to its BBC Worldwide subsidiary, it has offshoots all over the world, including BBC America, BBC Canada, and the 24-hour international news channel, BBC World News. BBC America? Uh, they gotta increase their advertising or marketing or something, because I have never heard of BBC America ever before. Uh, I think, I don't think it's doing too well. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I've never heard of that. I think most Americans haven't heard of BBC America. That's a thing? Huh. News. I know who I wouldn't invite. Who? Stephen Fry or Jesus. Number two, Virgin. Fortunately, Virgin? with TiVo from Virgin Media, you can record any three programmes at once while watching a fourth you recorded earlier. From record shops to space travel, Sir Richard Branson's Virgin. Oh! Group, oh, yeah, yeah. R Richard Br Branson. Virgin. The, uh... I know this. It's got a cool logo. Virgin Airlines. I've, I know Virgin Airlines. Is, is there like a Virgin Mobile as well? Like Virgin cell phone network? Cellular network? I've heard of Virgin. This is a popular brand in the United States. Not really for cell phones. Do they do cell phones? I know that they're famous for really amazing airplanes. Uh, that's what I know them most for. I think most Americans... No virgin for a virgin airline. In many different pies. And and this guy, Richard Branson, who's like very eccentric and cool and the <laughs> rich. And uh, I, I've seen him before as well. As a company always looking to explore new ventures, the Virgin brand has grown exponentially since the 70s mm. and is prominent in many facets of media, be it music or home entertainment. Right. Not only is Virgin a brand that pops up all over the globe, but its plane, train, cruise liner and galactic services will help you travel oh. our world and hopefully others. Oh, I didn't know that they did more than uh, airplanes. They do rocket ships, <laughs> trains uh other stuff that's cool um and when i think of virgin i don't think of british although if i had thought about it i, re I remember richard branson who's the ceo and i think i knew he's british so i could have kind of reasoned out that virgin was british but I, I i never think of it as a british brand but but so now i've never just i've never thought about it so now i know okay Number one, Cadbury. Ah! Here we go. Number one. Okay, is it is this number one? Because this is like the most successful, most popular British brand of all time. Is Cadbury bigger than like Virgin? I don't know. Or the BBC? I don't know. Either way, this is number one. Cadbury. <laughs> this is an interesting one because I have heard of Cadbury. I think you can get some Cadbury products in America, but I wouldn't know because us Americans, we don't even think about Cadbury. We never buy Cadbury. We always buy Hershey's or some other American chocolate company. But uh, most Americans have heard of the name Cadbury. Um, and I, I think I knew it was British. Yes. Because Britain has different chocolate than our chocolate, which is better, I hear. And uh, that would be Cadbury. Yeah, yeah, I, I did know that. But again, it's almost hard for me to think about because I just don't ever think about the brand Cadbury or like being British or about Cadbury at all because we just don't really get it here.
Hey, your mouth! We all know Cadbury is big, but you may not realise just how big it is. Really? Founded in Birmingham almost two centuries ago, its reach stretches to the US, Canada, Australia, and India. I've heard that it's like a very global, worldwide brand, and I'm sure there's some Cadbury products you can get here in America, but they, like, don't get great shelf space. They're not very visible. They're not advertised at all. So even though Cadbury exists here in America, Americans don't really buy it much at all, like compared to other candy. That's why, sir, nothing tastes nicer than Cadbury's Dairy Milk. <laughs> oh, wow. Than Cadbury's Dairy Milk. In fact, it's the second largest oh. confectionery brand in the world, wow. second only to Wrigley's Chewing Gum. Of course, it's most famous oh. for its chocolates, with the likes of the Dairy Milk Bar, Flake, and Curly Whirly. What is this Curly Whirly? Flake? There's all these uh, Cadbury uh, candy bars I don't know. But thanks to its acquisition of other brands like Maynard's in the 90s, it also produces an array of other sweets, Ooh. like Jelly Babies. Ooh. Now, that is some tasty Jelly trivia. Babies. <laughs> Je <laughs> jelly Babies. I think <laughs> I learned about Jelly Babies in a different video. That's funny with the uh, gorilla commercial playing music, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And there we go. Okay, perfect. Uh, I think that's it. That was a very good video. Fascinating. That was by WatchMojo UK, and I gotta give that a like. Wow, I think I enjoyed that a lot because there were so many brands I'd never heard of, and the ones that I have heard of, I didn't really even know they were British. Um, what do we have here? Martins? That's the shoe, right? Uh, Asus, the fashion, Glenfiddich is the whiskey, Burberry, what's Burberry, fashion again, Rolls Royce. So those first four, I didn't even know about, uh, like hadn't ever even heard those words before. Rolls Royce, very popular in America. Shell, popular in America. What is this? Oh, Durex, popular in America. BBC, some Americans know about that. Um, I've heard of it. And Virgin, popular in America. Cadbury, Americans have heard of it, but not popular in America. There you go. Uh, that was very fun, actually. Very interesting. Um, and now I I'm kind of happy that I know which brands are British, because that's the kind of thing. I, I the, Some of these I was aware of, but I never appreciated that they were British brands. So that's cool. And, and I enjoyed this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, Feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment with your thoughts on any of these British brands or British brands that you thought should have made the list but didn't. That'd be very interesting to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Britain and British culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.